Okay guys, it's something that I never really did before and I didn't do it last week though I think I should have because it could have been interesting. Could have been nice to do a recap video on that, then of course do this. I mean, you know, combine that shit. But this is my box office predictions for this week. Now of course, we all know that Pitch Perfect 2 smoked Mad Max Fury Road. Pitch Perfect 2, there's like actual weekend, They're like the estimates said around 70 million. It made around 69 million. Mad Max Road actually made around 45, which isn't a lot, and very kind of disappointing. 14, you know, 24 million less than Pitch Perfect 2. Now, to be honest, guys, there is a reason why. I mean, Pitch Perfect 2 is a sequel to a comedy that was a sleeper hit, became more popular as during its run, and became more popular in, in the three years that had passed. Max Fury Road is a reboot that came 30 years after Beyond Thunderdome, and of course not a lot of people I know really know this franchise, but of course I know Chris Stuckman knows it, and he loved this movie. He wanted people to see this movie, not make it the next edit tomorrow, and so do I. I really want this movie to succeed at the box office. And it might just, I mean, you know, we have Jap not really in the U.S., it might make its budget back, may not. I'll have to wait and see. But I think Japan and China, once it opens there, they haven't yet. I think they'll get that money really coming back. It will get, it'll be like around 400 to 500 million dollars, I believe. That's my prediction. I might be off. I mean, it's already made 110 million worldwide. And it has like 65 million from foreign so far. So that's leaving me hopeful. And my estimates are not that far off, in my opinion. But I don't know. I'll wait a few weeks. It's still hopeful, guys. Now here are my predictions for this week. Now of course we have two wide releases coming out and that is Tomorrowland, which is the new Brad Bird movie which is written by him, Damon Lindelof. Actually I want to tell you some facts about that guys. That's actually um, the script and the design of... See, Walt Disney knew the end of his lifetime. Like He had this philosophy on innovation utopia. And Tomorrowland's kind of that. It's a, represent it's a utopian society. And actually like, um, Disney pl planned this community called Epcot, which was supposed to, which is supposed to like, you know, influenced by his philosophy, which actually is a bad idea. I think I wonder that's where the design for Tomorrowland in the movie was inspired by. I've never seen the ride, guys. Maybe it's the same for the ride. Who knows? I want to continue on with something else. That movie could open to around 30, 40, even 50 million. Because, I mean, George Clooney is a big name. Brad Bird is very respected. Because, I mean, he gave us the Iron Giant, the Incredibles. Actually, I've never seen the Iron Giant, but I know that's heavily acclaimed, and it's my... That was my... Aaron loves that movie. It's her first movie, actually. Mine was Monsters, Inc. Talk about impressive. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, there's also... He also has Ratatouille. He also has Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This is his first live-action movie. This is his second live-action movie. And he's supposed to, he can do live action, but also he can do action sequences in movies. And seriously, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol is my favorite in the Mission Impossible series. And I am really looking forward to Rogue Nation. And I can't believe they actually did that plane stunt for real. And Tom Cruise did that. Holy shit. For a guy who's devoted to doing his own stunts, that. That's reaching even higher than the Burj Khalifa. I'm not even kidding. I mean, you're on a fast moving plane. Holy fucking shit. So excited for that movie, guys. The anticipation is right, knowing the fact that plain stunt was real. Seriously, credibility is an understatement. That guy deserves all the credit he gets for being a heavily devoted stunt man and actor. Anyways, guys, there. I don't know where could Pitch Perfect two drop a bit. Well, that's usual for all kinds of movies. Because I mean, not always. They don't always get bigger all the time. Some do, but that's really rare. You really get your you really get the biggest audience on opening weekend because, you know, people sometimes people are dying to see this movie. Sometimes they make it bigger, but that's sometimes it's more of a sleeper hit, really. And Pitch Perfect was a sleeper hit. It didn't start out the best, but it got bigger and bigger as the years came as it went on during its run, because it got more because it was not releasing a lot of theaters and it got bigger. Now, Pitch Perfect 2, knowing the fact it made its butt, it made like in the US it made sixty-five million dollars. Pitch perfect. And this one made $69 million, so it could drop. Where? Well, this is where I'm confused, guys. Could Tomorrowland be at number one? I'm betting on that. Poltergeist. Where will that stand? Number two or number three? I'm betting more number th two. It could be number two, but I'm kind of almost betting on number three. Because, I mean, this is a remake. And remakes are not always well-received. And, guys, I am just not looking really forward to this movie because... 
I like the original. I am a huge. I'm a fan of the original. I like Toby Hooper. This was a. It was a good film. It was a well written movie. Scary, and atmospheric. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And I don't see a lot of them. Favorite will always be Silence of the Lambs. Bet on that. Anyways, guys, this is uh, this that could be around twenty to thirty million dollars. Who knows? It could be ten to twenty. That's my bet. That could be number three. Mad Max Fury Road, could that be number two? Well, guys, it could. Picture of two, however, might be number two as well. Money-wise, um, maybe in the 30s to 40s, Mad Max Fury Road. Maybe like in the 30s, 20s, that I could be like in the very high tw 20s, at least. Because I think, I think word of mouth is going to help this film, but I think it's going to be word of mouth that's going to help this film get bigger, also foreign. To, like, not, I don't think domestic really the market here. Because, I mean, even though Mad Max is a well-respected action franchise, no one really knows about it. And, and like, anyone who's never really, who, who just hears about it, they don't really know about it. If I know it from their parents or something like that. Or they never really saw them. One person I know wants to see it, but he wants to see the first one. This is a reboot, man. It doesn't matter. Just go see it. It's awesome. Also, I do not want this to be the next Edge of Tomorrow. If you guys don't know, even though that's impossible... Edge of Tomorrow was a film, was an action movie that came out in 2014, last year, I could have just said that, that was, I, I really liked it, it was a really good movie, the ending disappointed me, but other than that, I really, I thought it was a really good movie, and it didn't make a lot of money. Actually, I'm going to look up the box office results right, right now, because I have nothing else to do. Although, I could be uploading videos right now, I could have just been uploading videos in the background on my laptop. I actually have a ton, but the problem is my computer just sucks now. I don't, know how much, I don't know how long I've had it. Maybe a year. These computers suck ass. I swear to God, you can get computer, you can get appliances that can last a long time. Like, are these things now just permit? Like, you like they are forced to make crap now because it's fucking stupid. They want their fucking money. This is country's run by greed. Don't you agree on that? Comment below. Yeah, I'm on my social right now. Looking up Edge of Tomorrow. I think really. I just can't believe that Picture of Two beat Mad Max Fury Road. Actually, I'm not that surprised. But seriously, how much more money it made compared to that? Seriously, Picture of Two was not even an honorable mention. It wasn't even the top ten for Watch Mojo's top ten most anticipated movies of 2015. Mad Max Fury Road was it was number seven. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, the but shit. But okay, the movie cost 178 million dollars to make. Made 100 dollars, 100 million in domestic. 269 million foreign, leading to a total of 369 million dollars. Which, unfortunately, while that was a success, lot, not much. Luckily, it has been getting a bigger following, so. And of course, but since of course the movie does not have any sort of destiny of being a sequel, which I think is one of the dumbest ideas to ever do, it's just disappointing in fact this was an original movie that was disrespected. And, you know, Mastery Road is pretty original. I mean, sure, you could say it kind of takes some cliches. But I think it's mostly original, and there's just this uncommon imagination and creativity that George Miller put into this movie that I really want to see more in the action genre and just in movies in general. But, uh, you know, maybe people are just not into that. Maybe, they just don't, maybe they're not used to these weird characters. But, of course, I, I have told some people about it, saying how much I loved it. They're getting excited. They kind of want to see it. Seriously, why can't action fans see this? Why can't they just like, respect original projects? It's not impossible, guys. I, I mean, sequels are not always good. We all know that. Why do you want to see a sequel more? I find it insulting to me. You know, I've got that comedy beat out a fucking action film. That's ridiculous to me. I mean, this comedy film has a 68% Rotten Tomatoes. Mad Max Fury Road has 98%. It's one of the highest rated movies on Rotten Tomatoes. The highest rated movie of the year so far, I believe. How? How the fuck is that possible? I don't know. Anyways, guys, the box office results, I told you about them. Like, you know, I mean, I don't know, really, because I don't know really where Poltergeist is going to stand. It could be number three. That's my more likely thing, because, I mean, I'm just not very excited for it. And some people are still obsessed over seeing Picture of 2, because they still haven't. Oh, I find that impossible, because more of the audience. Okay, I don't know how much ticket prices have gone up since 2012, but, uh, how much they changed. But still, I think the entire audience who saw this in theaters... They saw it. Hopefully home media sales could get more profits for uh, Mad Max Road. I think that could be a thing. Also, like, TV ratings, like, strong TV views could get a bigger following. Just like Edge Tomorrow. 
But since, of course, Mario 3 Road is hoping to be more of a... And, of course, they're still doing it because I guess they're getting enough money already. Because, I mean, you have foreign markets getting the most money in there. That's obvious. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that is my... Uh, that's just my predictions along with some other information that I'm just complaining about. I'm just babbling on bullshit, but I'm keeping it in there because, you know, I like to do that shit. Hope it leaves you guys entertained. And maybe you guys just love to complain that I just... That I just... I'm just so random and I just go all over the place. Comment below. What are your predictions? Hey, post, comment below your predictions for what movies. Like, where are... What are they going to be... Like, what rank they're going to open in and how much money they're going to make. Just comment below that. And subscribe to my channel for more videos.